go ahead and grab my bookmark that I so conveniently have right here. Thankfully, these come in handy. So, I just happen to have all the stuff to make them today. So we're going to make some critter bookmarks. So, when you're reading, you've got to take a pause. You can go ahead and put your bookmark there, and we can finish where we left off. So I've got that one made. And I also made a duck and a lion earlier, so we're going to be making the lion today. But it's the same process for each one, and then you just kind of decorate it differently. So, for every single one you need construction paper, tape, or glue. Um, you can use googly eyes if you have them. If not, you could certainly draw the eyes on yourself. And then I've got my set of markers here, and of course scissors to cut. So, the first step that we need to do is cut this into a square. So the easiest way to cut a perfect square is you're going to fold it into a triangle. So you can do it any size. I like it about a fourth of the page. And then you're going to cut out around that triangle. And then when you unfold it, you've got a perfect square. So, we're going to fold it back up here, and then this is where we get into our folds. So, you're going to take the bottom right corner, and you're going to fold it up to the top. So it'll be nice and even along this edge here. So we folded it right up here to the top. And then you're going to do the same with the left corner. So you're going to fold that one up to the top too. So essentially, you just have a smaller square, so we've got these folds. So we're going to unfold it, and then we can, we're able to see these creases. So next you're going to take just the top piece, and you're going to fold it down in line with those creases. So you'll notice that the back piece is still straight, and we just took the top layer of this piece of construction paper, and we folded it so it's in line with our creases here. Then next, we've got our triangle right here, and we're gonna fold it to where it's flush with the other crease. So we've got our, we've got the, our top layer, and then you're gonna fold in so that they touch each other, kind of like an envelope would connect. So you're gonna do that with both sides. So you're gonna try it over here as well. So it kind of looks like an envelope would. So you've got this flap that's not folded. All right. So you're gonna unfold it. And remember those creases that we did first that we brought up here. So you're gonna take that crease and then you're gonna tuck this part back underneath. So it kind of opens up, see? Which is why we left this back part so we've got the one side so we're gonna do it again so we're gonna pull up this crease so that it's nice and flush here and then you're gonna take this piece and you're gonna tuck it underneath so you should be able to open it up here like this so that's where your page is gonna go but when it's flat it's gonna look like this this is gonna be your top and then this part's gonna be the bottom so Next is the super fun part, you get to decorate it. So the first part that I'm gonna do for my lion is the mane. So we're gonna do this part here. So you can make the mane as big or as small as you want. So I'm gonna go ahead and just cut a nice strip of brown paper. And then I'm gonna cut in a zigzag pattern because if I cut in a zigzag pattern, I'll have two equal pieces that I can use for either side of the lion's head. So you can make a lot of tiny cuts, you can make just a few large ones, it's your lion, so you can make it whatever you want. So notice that I made them into two separate pieces. So next, we're going to flip over our bookmark so that we can tape on the main. So I got mine right here. I prefer tape because it, we don't have to wait for it to dry and it's not quite as messy, 
but if you've got a glue stick or some liquid glue at home you can certainly use that as well so we're just going to tape the main onto the back here or glue all right perfect so we've got the one side of the main already on here you can go ahead and cut off the extra part right here so we've got one side done we're going to go ahead and just do the other side once again we're just taping it here to the back So we've got a little extra here that we can go ahead and cut off. And you've done your main. Next part, lion's got to have ears. So we can just cut a little piece of yellow paper off. What I like to do is fold it in half. Because if I fold it in half, I'm able to make the ears at one time. So they're exactly the same size. So you're going to go ahead and cut not the side of the crease but the side where it opens up so that they're not connected and I like mine to be a little bit of a triangle shape so I'm going to go ahead and cut just a soft triangle right here and then when you pull it out you've got two equal triangles and then what I like to do as I've done on this one is color in the darker ear just to give it a little bit of um, accent here so I'm going to get my brown marker out and just do a little bit of detailing in the middle here or you can leave it you can leave it just yellow if you want but I went ahead and just put, draw, colored it in a little bit and the same with the other one so then we're going to go ahead and tuck in our ears. So we've got this nice piece of tape here. So we're able to kind of just tuck in the ear between the main and our main part of the face. So you should be able to just tuck it in here. And then if you want to go ahead and slide a small piece of tape or a dot of glue underneath of that, you can. So I think I'm going to go ahead and just do that just to make sure that it stays. So we're going to roll up a piece of tape, really small so we can't see it. Cut it in half because there's two ears. And we're going to go ahead and just stick that piece of tape behind the ear so it stays like that. So we can go ahead and do the same on the other. Put a little bit of tape on the back and tuck it in. All right, so we've got our ears. The next part is where you can get a little bit creative. So you can make the face whatever you want. So um, I think I'm going to go ahead and put some googly eyes on mine. I didn't do it on this one, so notice you can draw them in if you want. But I've got some fancy googly eyes here. So all kinds of sizes and colors. Some of them have eyelashes. All right, we're going to do these. And these ones just have the adhesive back that you can stick on, but you can also use glue if you just want to use a dot of glue. So I'm going to go ahead and put them kind of near, near the top of the face. We want to leave enough room for the nose and mouth. Alright. Perfect. So my lion now has eyes. So now I'm going to go ahead and draw the muzzle part of the lion so I'm just going to draw an oval here so I just kind of drew an oval shape and then I'm going to fill it in and that's going to be that muzzle part of the lion perfect and then all great lions have whiskers so if you're feeling like adding whiskers to your lion I just am going to go ahead and do three, but you can certainly do more than three if you'd like. So if we add a few whiskers on each side, we've got that here. Then I'm going to add a few dots 
to what we colored in earlier just for a little bit of texture perfect and then we have our bookmark so you got the one with eyes you've got the one with drawn on eyes or you can certainly make a duck here or a rabbit or a tiger like the one we've got on our book so we'll go ahead and take this one off and we'll put our new one on here perfect and then it'll hold your spot in anything that you're reading or coloring or anything during this quarantine time.